Chow. What's up, everybody? All right, we're over here in District 3, and I'm going to talk about super desirable areas to live outside of District 1, outside of District 2, outside of District 4, outside of District 7. We're going to talk about District 3, and I'm going to show you one really popular apartment building that a lot of people tend to live in, and this happens to be a really nice area. It's clean, garbage free, lots of great restaurants, tremendous location. So we're gonna get into it, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna see where she goes. Let's go, hold on. Okay. So mainly, this is gonna be one of the big, big areas for where you're gonna to wanna to live that's pretty nice and desirable. Now a lot of people, expats, tend to really live in, right here, the out in and Quan Tu, District 2. Am I a particularly huge, I mean, Thouden fan? I think we know about that. It's it's nice, I get it. Um, it's just not, not for me. However, District 3 though, I do like. This is a very good location if you are in need to the airport consistently. Believe it or not, this is right on the way to the airport. You know, if you know your route and you drive at, uh, efficiently, you know, you can get to the airport in 15 minutes from here. So it's just like living in LA if you lived in like Marina, you know, like Marina Del Rey-ish. You're right there, you're right at the airport. But then you're far enough from the airport where you're not getting any bullshit from the airport, you know? So we'll go over here and I'll show you. There's this big warning zone over here. We did a walking tour at night here not too long ago. But now that I know the apartments that people live in, that's the, that's the, I want to show the area there. Cause that's where you're gonna, that's where you're gonna want to see what's around you. Now, if you've never been to a warning zone, re really good. It's just like, uh, it's identical to the gangs. It's the same, same shit, same product. So, if you're into that, man, it's windy. Sorry about the wind, guys. The gimbal's working pretty hard. I can feel the motor clicking back and forth because we got like a 20 mile per hour headwind. So you got the warning zone right over here, so that's a pretty good sign. I don't think you're gonna have a Maccas right by you or like a fast food, but I think that's good, you know? Coming up on the Terra Royal now. So you would tr traditionally think, I always thought that this was just a hotel. It's the whatever, the Leia. Level, level up. So it's a hotel on one side. And I didn't know this. And then it's a residency on this other side. And let me show you from the outside. It's a pretty good building. Traffic. We'll go this way. We'll go right. got a balcony but it's a little weird I'm gonna look at one of these because we are gonna move again we kind of moved into a temporary spot this last January so we're gonna be moving again pretty soon you know we're actually on a lease where I can move now so as you can see these are the residencies so you'll see the balcony this is the hotel if I remember right is these like swivel one and then as you go here is the residency and those are the little balconies so you get a full balcony, you get a good view. <coughs> These are gonna run anywhere from 650 up to 1500, depending on how many bedrooms and stuff. So we'll talk more about that as, uh, as we go do tours. We're gonna fire up apartment tours again, pretty quick here. We're gonna look in all different areas. So hopefully that'll be good. Again, a lot of the focus now on the channel is the way it goes we we shoot youtube videos monday and tuesday and the rest of the week is live streaming so there's a lot of there's going to be it's going to be a shift guys it's already has been to where it's going to be more me live streaming so especially japan if you're going to want to catch japan and you're not over at kick.com forward slash fat and broke 
you're just gonna be missing out. I'd recommend you get over there and, and check it out, you know. And the stream, if you used to watch the stream years ago, they're a bit different. You know, I'd recommend check it out again. I think they're more for everybody. We do a lot of adventure stuff now as well. So we go from like, uh, you know, last Sunday we took the ferry all the way in the, to District 9 to District 2. We walked around, you know, we're doing stuff. So it's not all just like going to Boy Dane and things like this. So really the obvious reason of why you'd want to live here is the area. Like, you super clean location, lots of like restaurants. You got local Vietnamese restaurants. You have international restaurants. You got a family mart right here. So these are already all good signs. Look at this, you got two hot girls out here, two white girls, always standing out here. So I mean, you can get these two white girls whenever you want. You'll see tourists over here too, and or people living. Because it's a great spot to live. It's like a hidden, a hidden area. I think there's another complex up here. I want to see food around here. I've never been down this way. I've never walked down here. I don't think I've ever even driven down here. So for me, this is new. Viet oil. So we're in some kind of uh, clothing. Some kind of hot dog. I don't, I don't have any hair, so this shit does me no good. I don't know. It looked like a regular haircut. Hot dogs usually have girls like where they give you, a, if you want uh, favors afterwards, they're, they're dressed up nicer. And, by the way, if you want to figure out how all this stuff works, if you want to know how, you know, massages, uh, bars, nightlife, food, all of it, I offer private tours on my patreon.com uh, forward slash fat and broke. So if you want access to me and you want to go on a private tour, it's going to be over on uh, patreon.com. And everybody's liked the tour so far. I haven't had any complaints. I, we've had one crazy ass wild tour after another. <laughs> so, you know, we, we've done some tame ones too. It's all up to you. We don't have to do anything crazy. Whatever tour you want, if it's you and your wife, that's fine. Or if it's just you as a, a woman. I actually have a woman that booked a, well, yeah, a woman. Early 20s, but she booked a tour. She wants to do food and she wants to do nightlife, so it'll be fun. I don't know where we're going. There's a Highlands coffee. So you got coffee around here. I know there's one more apartment up here. Yeah, we're, we're in textile. We're in the textile area. Yeah, it's all textile. Yep. Dry cleaners and, and uh, clothing repair. You know, clothing repair is a big thing. In America, where we would uh, tend to throw shit out, they fix it here. Same with shoes. They fix shoes here a lot. You know, they'll fix it here. Motorbike, they'll always fix a motorbike. You very rarely see a motorbike get destroyed. You know, they'll just keep it going, they'll rebuild it. It's easy to rebuild the motors. Oh, yeah. A couple of hotties laying on the ground. What the hell, man? A lot of dentists too. Absolutely get your dental work here. Uh, Kim Dental is really good. KIM, Kim Dental, District 1. Pretty, pretty good. I don't know why people are riding on the sidewalk here. It's stupid. I'm gonna block them. My sidewalk is not for you to ride on. Like, this shit don't make sense to me. They're saving no time. It's a one-way street. Like, you're fighting to get up 10 feet for a light? I don't know. Okay. This shit don't ever really make sense to me. But. I think this is the reason why you don't see traffic jams here, though. Like, this shit works. Like, while I think this is stupid in my head, you know, this is what allows Saigon to not be gridlocked from 5 p.m. on like Bangkok. Bangkok's fucking gridlocked from like 4 p.m. on. Bangkok's shit for traveling. What a shitty place to get to get around at. Everybody that was jerking jerking off Bangkok like it's got the greatest transportation system. <laughs> what the? I don't know what kind of smoke you're crack you're smoking, but give me some. That shit is sure is not efficient to me. Look 
at the cool little neighborhood you're at living at the Terra Royal. You got access to all this cool shit. Oh, I know where we're at now. Oh, this is a great area. I know exactly where we're at. So we'll walk back down this way. I, I, for me, there's huge charm in District 3. I like it a lot. I could totally live here. The one problem that you're gonna see with District uh, 2 or 3 is, is right now it's only 2 p.m. Look at the traffic. This is 2 p.m. traffic, guys. 2 p.m. So like as dead as, this technically should be kind of as slow as traffic's gonna get during the day. And it's, it's crazy. Like as you can hear all the honking and the whizzing. Well, I walked around here my first, my very, very first six months of YouTube. This is one of my spots. You tend to kind of stay where you first stay. Cutie over here, where's she work? Where we want to go, boys? Straight or left? I think we go left. Oh, the puppy's cute. I told you. On the left. You know what I'm saying? Ma, 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 ma. Oh, he's new. Only do you wait if you've never, if you're not here long. You're like a day new here, or a couple days. There's no uh, waiting at a crosswalk, by the way. You don't wait for lights to turn green. Very few places do you actually wait. Just, you just go. Oh, we're behind the annoying ice cream guy. Perfect. Are we still in District 2? I think we're in District 1 now. So we just walked into District 1 already. So that's how good of a location that Terra, Terra Royal is, you know? Man, this guy's walking as fast as me. I mean, can he stop ringing the bell for a minute? Ah, ciao. Okay, let me pause, I'll be back. All right, the bell. I do, I never think Bell sell uh, ice cream, but what do I know? What is this? Game hobby. Walk in here real quick, take a look. I'm curious. Ciao, Ciao. hello. Oh, it's like a game store. Huh. A Nintendo Wii PlayStation. Game and hobby. Come check it out if you need a Wii or a uh, Switch, all that stuff. They're playing music. You gotta get out of there. Seems to be the kind of a thing you gotta deal with in Vietnam. They everywhere they play copyright music at a really high level, so copyright, 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 because Vietnam or uh, YouTube still for some reason can't fix their copyright system 15 years on. Kind of weird, huh? How does everyone else not have a problem with it but YouTube? for some reason has to bend the knee to any song that's in any video for any amount of time. And still only do the cover thing. Like, your, your only opportunity to fight it is to go, it's a cover. Like, how am I making money off that song in that game? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even follow what the laws are. I would love to see how that actually works. Like, how much money are they actually giving them? Are they really sharing the revenue? Like, I think there's something shady going on back there. No one's ever really showed how that's done. I find it to be bullshit. I find it very unlikely that uh, that the revenue is shared. I, I, I think the whole thing's bullshit. I think it's more to just make the, the people that own this music happy. Watch the Spotify series. I forget which... Which... Uh, Netflix or Hulu, I can't remember. One, there, There's one on each one, but there's one Spotify show that's pretty accurate. The guy's a piece of shit. A literal piece of shit. 
and so are the record companies but like both are people like the dude that started spotify and what spotify is is the shittiest product in the world versus the record companies which are the shittiest people in the world so it's like all shit but that i've never used spotify for that reason you don't get you don't make a fucking penny man what about the artists aren't making anything So I've never it downloaded uh, Spotify, never used it, never will. I'll never use Reddit. I'll never use TikTok. Not gonna happen. And I don't give a shit if I'm missing out on stuff. I'm not using it. I got no interest. So I mean, good area. I think we walked the wrong way. Ideally, we would have liked to walk the other way, but I think there's just so much potential here in District 3. You know, you see how quickly we walked in from District 3 into District 1. Terra Royal is the most popular District 3 apartment. If you go on Hoosing, Hoosing.com, there's so many listings on there. Uh, people seem to be pretty happy living there too. So if you need to be by the airport, this is really the place to be, guys. I would highly recommend that you check out uh, Terra Royal in that area, especially if you need to be by the airport. If you want a nice, modern, uh, really luxury style apartment and luxury style things, that's the, the place to go to. So anytime you walk past a dog like that, you cannot get nervous. Like You wanna know how you're gonna get bit by a dog like that? Every time you're gonna get bit by any dog. I don't care if they're a nice dog or not. If you start getting freaked the fuck out, Dogs feel energy. I don't care what anybody says. They do. And if they sense that you're a weak-ass bitch when you're walking by, they might snap at you a little bit or bite you. I've never been chased by a dog or attacked by a dog here. And I've walked by so many a dog. They're going to start out, uh, outlawing pit bulls here. You don't ever really see them. I've never seen them. I've never seen a pit bull here. But people have them. There's been lots of deaths lately. Like, a pit bull just killed an old guy. Like, an 85-year-old guy just fucked him up. Killed him in, like, under a minute, too. I guess it bit, its, it bit its throat immediately, which is what pit bulls do do. I had one. You could never train that out of a pit bull, by the way. Pit bulls will always be... Bless their hearts, I'm a pit bull guy. Will always have that uh, killer instinct in them. And they can snap at any moment. They always will have that. I don't care if it's the nicest pit bull in the world and was trained in the most loving house. They have crazy jaw power and sometimes weird shit can set them off and they do dumb shit. It's as simple as that. And trust me, I'm a proponent of pit bulls. But do I think a majority of people should have them? No. It should be a less bred dog. It should get uh, out of rotation, technically. There's just no need for it. What do we need it for? You know? And dog fighting is one of the most horrendous things in the world that you can ever watch. Absolutely disgusting. I want nothing to do with that. Yeah, I think that's the video. I think that's the tour. I mean, cuties everywhere, as you can see. You got coffee shops, modern, uh, less trash. There's lots of reasons to come live in this area, guys. Come check it out. Uh, Terra Royal is just one of the more popular apartments in District 3. I'll list two or three in the description. And then in the next couple months, we're going to actually start looking at District 3 apartments. So be on the lookout for that. Anything you want to see on the channel, let me know in the comment section. Just drop it in there now. As we talked about over on the Patreon, you have access to me. If you do want to go on a private tour, that's the way to do it. And or you just want to talk to me. And or if you just like my channel and want to support me in an additional way, the Patreon's the best way to do it. And as we also talked about, I live stream over at kick.com forward slash fat and broke. New platform, but it's going to be awesome, so check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay frosty. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.